Thank you very much. It has such a wide range of stuff and um, I think that all their stores are so like ginormous and have so much stuff in them. I think it's pretty amazing and everything's pretty affordable. So, I mean, I know I love it. I could literally, anytime I need something, I could go there and I know they're going to have it. It's always cool. It's very British and I think you kind of grow up going there and it's something that you never grow out of. And to me, it really just kind of represents that cool British style and they're always so on top of trends and I don't know any other store or brand in the world that sells clothes at that price that is so on point with trends. It's become iconic, it's an iconic brand and it offers something for everyone I think. It's really directional but at the same time accessible and you can't beat the price point. I'm such a top shop fan. I'm Topshop's biggest fan so I'm just excited for what's new and yeah I have no idea what to expect. It's always so fresh so I'm like yeah can't wait. Enduring is exactly the right word for Topshop. I think it's because it's a necessity and it proves a service. And when a brand does that for generations over and over again, you get endurance. Nothing can beat you and you last when you last and I think that's what's so special. The reason why yeah, it's lasted this long and it's so, so popular is probably down to the fact they're always so, so on trend, so up with everything. And you know, but it's also affordable, but it's high fashion and yeah, they're always, always on it, season after season. And I love wearing it. Um, it's just so eclectic, there's so many different styles. I can go with all my friends and we all dress quite differently and we'll all find something in Topshop. present in all the major cities in the right street is key to your brand developing. If you look at the big brands in the world, they're on the right streets. And if we want to really be a global player, we've got to be on those streets. I think 40,000 feet on Fifth Avenue hopefully demonstrates that we're serious. 
it's our DNA. And I think as a company, you know, not just Topshop, as a company, um, you know, we opened the academy, where we've had great success. There's other things we're working on. Um, Topshop developing young talent. I think there's other things I'd like to do, which I've said recently, you know, invest maybe with a two, two or three startups in the technology space or space that sort of links into our business. It's, it's where we've got to be. We've got to be in that market. That's our customer. You know, we need to feel the space. You know, you want to feel that you're this very sort of like small thing in this huge space around you. And uh, for us, it was very important to work with the symmetry of the building to keep the sort of epicness of it, you know, to keep the scale very, very present. And, you know, for the audience then to really feel that they're experiencing the Turbine Hall at its, at its greatest. Well, I think what we've done for autumn winter this season, you know, we've really looked at that British girl, the British style, you know, and what makes us so unique and stand out from the rest of the world. So we've taken those very early beginnings of a sort of a young girl, you know, experimenting with her school uniform and, and using all those ways of like trying to put her individual spirit into that and start adding her fashion layers into that world of hers. And then obviously you see her evolve and she becomes more and more individual and more and more, you know, confident with her look and her style. And I think it's about confidence and it's about youth and it's about young girls really you know, harnessing some in, in some real spirit of their independence. It's really interesting this year. So we, you know, we always want to sort of try and give everybody the experience of the show, and that's very important. So not only are we allowing you know people to view the show here at the gallery um, at, at the at the Tate Modern, we're also showing uh, a sort of amazing, incredible sort of way of 3D technology. So it's almost like a virtual fashion show. So you can go into our store in Oxford Circus at three o'clock and you can put on an incredible sort of virtual mask and with that you'll be able to see every aspect of the show from up, down, left, right, you know, so you'll be really as if you are sitting there in the front row. The unique girl, you know, she's always the same. For us, it's somebody who has a real unique sense of her own style, she's very individual and she's, I guess she's kind of experimental as well, you know, with putting her looks together. We always, you know, start with heritage, I think, you know, because for us, British heritage is super important. And But this season, um, she's a bit rebellious. And, you know, I, I think you'll see that when, when the girls come out on the catwalk. Um, it's a coming of, coming of age story. Um, and it's like soft girls wanting to be tough, tomboys wanting to be feminine. Um, it's a new play for us with our contrasts, you know, contrasts. Last season for winter, it was about the big scale with the small scale. This time it's about softness um, with the tomboy edge. The technology we're using today is a combination of a few different things. Um, essentially, we've got an ultra-wide angle lens here on the catwalk. Um, we've got 360-degree fo photos. We've got live Twitter feeds. And they're all being beamed directly to a virtual reality experience in an environment based on uh, the uh, Tate's Turbine Hall. Um, now we've got five lucky winners sitting in Topshop's front window looking at this virtual reality experience. What Topshop did uh, that was unique uh, was to combine two live feeds uh, and then use initians skills in animation uh, to, to create a hybrid world uh, of virtual reality combined with telepresence. That media has never existed before. Nice outfit, I love this brown one.